feared Liverpool gangster James Taylor, who also went by the nickname Pancake, had access to GUNs Class C like White and H, and also an abundance of enforcers. To help him carry out a spat of retaliation incidences across Liverpool, on October 2010, the then 34-year-old had dialed a number, put a phone to his ear, and within a 30-second phone call, he enlisted two enforcers to help him try and K boxer Lee Sinner at a city centre kebab house. James Pancake Taylor and Lee Sinner were known to each other. Previously, it was alleged that the two men had visited separate criminal friends in HMP Garth, which is in Preston. The then 25-year-old Lee, who had a short temper and was on a decline in boxing and was an avid white user, had got into a scrap with the Liverpool gangster James Taylor. James lost by a landslide and was said to have been put asleep in the prison's visiting hall in front of everybody. First, James's pride was hurt. Second, James's body was hurt. Thirdly, James had vowed retaliation and it was taken to be true because police had visited Lee Sinner and explained that there was a real danger to his life. They asked him to go into hiding or leave the city. However, the boxer laughed after warning. Now, Lee Sinner was no innocent man. The former boxing prodigy had become high strung and was addicted to white and had also previously sent an innocent man to hospital when the victim was ambushed and the innocent man suffered broken bones. So, on the 2nd of October 2010, Lee Sinner was found in Kimos Kebab House restaurant. James Pancake Taylor, along with Anthony Richardson, and the third man who has never been found by police, had entered the food place on Myrtle Street, armed with items like machettes, steaming lock and bats. Their faces was concealed with hoods. CCTV captured the moment that the Liverpool crime boss and gangster and his men had lunged at Lee Sinner as he tried to leave the food place. Swinging metal wildly and trying to hack and chop and jab, Lee was stuck multiple times to the point that one of the injuries was so wide that police says you could fit a hand inside. Still, Lee was holding the door closed against James Taylor and his mates. In the aftermath, James packed his bag, brought a plane ticket and decided to live his life in Amsterdam. As for Lee, he was taken to hospital where his injuries were classed as serious but he did make a recovery. Now, when James was eventually picked up by, in a joint investigation by Dutch police and the Serious Organised Crime Agency, he was arrested when he left the gym on his way to his luxury apartment that he had already purchased. James was flown back to the UK, where he went on trial at Liverpool Crown Court. James pled guilty to GBH with intent and possession of an item being the steaming lock. In court, the judge says that James Pancake Taylor was a notorious gangster. He was a man to be feared. He went after Lee Sinner not due to a petty disagreement. This was a carefully planned criminal act. Now James Taylor was jailed for 9 years. As for his mate Anthony Richardson, he was jailed for 8 years and 4 months. The aim was clear, it was to K, but Lee Sinner survived due to his own survival instincts. Stay safe, safe.